Dividing fractions can seem pretty abstract, and because of this, it's easy sometimes to make mistakes. Here's a way to visualize what's going on. The fraction 3 fifths means that if I cut something into 5 equal pieces, then I'm interested in 3 of them. So the ones that I've kind of roughly marked in red represent 3 out of 5. To represent 1 fourth, I need to cut my whole into 4 equal size pieces, and I'll do the best I can to make them equal. And because it's 1 fourth, we are interested in exactly one of those pieces. So I'm just going to shade that in with the blue. Now remember I'm dividing. So that means what I want to see is how many times does this go into this. So just by eyeballing it, it looks to be a bit over two. When I move this over here, you can kind of see one, two, and uh, maybe a half, maybe a, uh, a third, but I suspect that my answer is going to be somewhere around two and one third based on this visual. Now I'm going to check using the standard algorithm, which is to turn it into a multiplication, take the reciprocal of the second fraction, that's going to give me 12 fifths, which is equal to two and two fifths, which is pretty close to our approximate answer. So remember, this was just a visualization. I, you can see I draw my lines a little bit sloppy. I can't expect to get a perfect answer here, but it does put me on the generally right track. I'm not getting a tiny fraction. I'm not getting some huge number. I'm definitely in the ballpark. These are fairly close. The point of this is not to get the perfect answer, but help you to actually picture what's going on when you're dividing fractions. Hope that helped. Bye.